okay and what I want to show you here is the reason you got to purge your hoses remember this is full of air watch this okay now do that right there you got the high side you got the low side and you got the suction side how much air do you think you actually put into the system? You put a lot of air in here. That's why it's important to purge your hose. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You go to your unit. Okay. What you want to do, you want to crack the back side of the valve. Okay. Take your hose off. I always put one hand here and one hand here. So as I'm screwing this on, watch this. Hear this very closely. Close it off. Okay, now I purged that hose. Now I'm going to do the uh, suction side. Once again, I'm going to loosen the valve. Okay, hear it? I'm purging out all the air. I'm going to close it off. This particular unit is obviously very low on refrigerant. Okay, now I'm going to take off the suction hose. And if I were to put it on the tank, it's the same principle. I'm going to turn it on. Purging it out. Okay. So, so the point I'm trying to make here, folks, is get into the habit, taking your hoses, cracking the valve on the manifold, put the hose on, and bleed out the air. Now, if you have gauges with low-loss fittings, shutoffs you won't have to do that because in this particular case we can turn on and off the valve as we take them off the only thing you need to do is keep in mind sometimes you better to have a set of gauges for R22 and you better to have a set of gauges for R410A but for some reason you don't you definitely got to purge out that extra oil okay this is a pretty simple process that has to be done in order to avoid contaminants in the system. If you have any questions, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. And if you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.